dear students in this session we will discuss the concept of expansion path if m can follow the cost minimization process for each level of output that is for each level of output the firm finds the input choice that minimizes the cost of producing that particular level of output that is it fixes capital or labor which minimizes different levels of output and if input costs w and r are assumed to be constant for different levels of capital and labor purchased we can easily trace the locus of cost minimizing choices and as we have assumed it is assumed that the firms operate in competitive markets so w and r are assumed to be given so it is very easy to find out the locus of cost minimizing choices let us see this graphically we have different iso cost curves labor and capital different iso cost curves and uh, the tangency between iso cost curve and iso cost curve and iso quant gives us the lowest possible cost of producing that particular level of output say q1 q2 q3 q4 etc q1 q2 q3 for producing q1 the lowest cost is c1 q2 c2 c3 c4 like that now for producing the output q1 the minimum cost is c1 using inputs l1 k similarly for producing c2 so q2 the minimum cost is c2 using say l2 k2 l3 k3 etc etc now if we join together these tangencies if you join together these tangencies you will get the expansion path it is known as the expansion path because it records how inputs expands while output expands holding prices of inputs constant this expansion path shows how inputs expands as outputs expands holding constant w and r and as given in this figure the expansion path need not be a straight line need not be it will be a straight line if and only if the proportion in which capital and labor used for successively higher levels of output remain constant but if the use of some if the use of inputs vary for different levels of output then expansion path will not be a straight line 
And since cost to minimization require that MRTS is always equal to W by R. Cost to minimization requires that MRTS is equal to W by R. And as W by R is a constant given the factor prices in a competitive market, shape of the expansion path is determined by where a particular MRTS occurs at the successively higher isocons. So, the tangency occurs where W by R is equal to MRTS. W by R is a constant. So, the shape of the expansion path depends on the value of MRTS associated with the different levels of output. Now, it can be shown that if a production function exhibits constant returns to scale or more generally if the production function is homothetic or we you simply take it as homogeneous. If a production function is homogeneous exhibiting constant returns to scale then the expansion path will be a straight line will be a straight line because MRTS depends only on the ratio of k by l and since k by l ratio is constant along a linear expansion path MRTS will also be constant. So, for homogeneous functions expansion path will be a straight line because MRTS is a function of k by l alone. But in general expansion path will be a straight line or it will be a non-linear pattern. Now, it is also reasonable to assume that expansion path is positively sloped. That is to produce more units of outputs, more units of both the capital and labor are required. But this is not always necessary. It is possible that the expansion path will be something like this. Consider this case. In this case, the expansion path is like this. As you can see, beyond Q2 level of output, the use of labor uh, decreases. Such a possibility is there if uh, beyond a level labor become an inferior input. That is if one input is inferior it is possible that expansion path is negatively sloped. Initially it is positively sloped but beyond a level of output expansion path is negatively sloped. In general in most cases we assume that expansion path is positively sloped whether linear or not. As we have seen in the case of homogeneous production functions expansion path is linear in the case of Cobb Douglas production function and also in the case of CES production function which we have examined.